Good morning everyone. Let's know about a few terms in psychology. Gestalt. It means whole form or organization of elements. It is formed by birth mare. Structuralism. It's a study of elements of brain. It is given by Wilhelm Wundt. Functionalism. It focuses on functioning of the mind. It is given by William James. Behaviorism. It's by John Watson. It focuses on psychology is study of the behavior. Psychodynamics. It is given by Sigmund Freud. Psychology is study of both behavior and mind. So it focuses on two aspects of the brain that is mind and behavior. So intellectual elements create more life's complex experiences that is ego or superego. It is a concept of Sigmund Freud. Classical conditioning. It's given by Pavlov. Simplest form of associative learning and it is basically used form of learning. Conditioning. It's process of training a person or animal to behave accordingly. External conditions for conditioning are practice and contiguity. Contiguity means simultaneous presentation of two stimulus at a time. Practice means it's a second step of classical conditioning. Pairing of food that is unconditional stimulus and conditional stimulus that is bell should be repeatedly practiced many times. So the response to the conditioned stimulus that is R to CS becomes very strong. Types of classical conditioning. There are two types of classical conditioning namely classical reward conditioning, classical aversive conditioning. Classical reward conditioning is food which is reward for a hungry dog. Whereas aversive conditioning is dog is made to sit on a metal plate that is conditioned stimulus bell paid with electric shock. Then the dog avoids contact with the metal plate to avoid electric shock to self. That is called classical conditioning. Operant learning by Skinner. Example classroom learning. It is also called as instrumental learning and it is the best form of associative learning. It focuses on mainly the strength of the behavior is modified by reinforcement or punishment. Behavior which is reinforced is repeated and practiced thoroughly whereas the behavior which is punished is weakened or reduced gradually. So these are called instrumental reward conditioning in or instrumental aversive conditioning. Example, changing the negative behavior of a student towards the positive side. Coming to basics and contributions in psychology. Wilhelm Wundt, he is father of psychology. Wilhelm Wundt, experimental psychology. Aristotle is called as and father of ancient psychology. William James, father of American psychology. Modern psychology by William James. Child psychology by Stanley Hall. Educational psychology, Herald. Cognitive development given by Jean Piaget. Social psychology given by Lenin. Personality development by Alport. Animal psychology by Thorndike. Father of Ego, Erickson. Father of Id, Freud. Father of Intelligence, Binet. Then coming to the schools of psychology. Structuralism is given by Wundt. Functionalism given by William James. Behaviorism by J.B. Watson, Gestalt by Berthmer, Psychoanalytical Theory by Sigmund Freud, Individual Theory, Adler, Analytical Theory, Carl Jung, Maslow, Maslow's Hierarchy Theory uh, that is Needs of Motivation by Maslow's, Humanistic Approach, Carl Rogers, Trite Theory by Cattell, McLean's Achievement Theory, Memory Concept is given by Ebbinghaus, Intelligence scales are given by Wessler. Reaction times by Helmholtz. Standard progressive matrices given by Raven. Span of attention by William Hamilton. Anxiety inventory given by Spiel Spielberger. Interest schedule given by Thurston. Differential abilities by David. Adjustment inventory by Bell. Thank you one and all.